The ancient ruins seem hard at first, but with the right strategy and a little bit of preparations, they are quite easy to farm, even for a noobo. If you are a beginner, I suggest using a dinghy with a nimmerig, because that's probably gonna be the easiest way to, for you to farm the ancient ruins and not require any bigger weapons or walkers. Just put a bunch of lobbers on the edge slots on the left side of the dinghy and then you're good to go. Put around 200 ammo in it to be prepared for the camp. Also bring some repair hammers and maybe a gas mask if you have that at hand because that's gonna be very helpful with the green gas bombs. And at the end of the video I'm going to show you how a pro player does it with a buffalo and rockers and how to get there. Okay, let's look at the guns on the camp first. We got five rockers in total and one ballista. We got a big tower with two rockers on top, left and right we got a smaller tower with a rocker each and then we got the last rocker on the opposite side of the camp which always shoots a fireball. The ballista is on a smaller tower separate from the others and is probably gonna be the last thing that we kill. Okay, the first point is very important. You want to do it like a drive-by, so you will need space to maneuver and don't get stuck anywhere. So choose the camp that you're gonna do. One like that in a flat area is perfect since there's little trees to get stuck. Okay, for the actual strategy, you simply drive in, shoot at the nearest tower and try to destroy it. Once the other guns start shooting, move to a safe distance and fully heal up. Repeat this process until all the guns are destroyed and keep in mind that a gas mask will help you greatly at this. Once the rockers are gone, don't forget to kill the ballista since it will keep shooting insect bombs at you which are incredibly annoying to deal with because they last for a very long time. When you destroy all the guns there will be still a horde of rupers protecting that treasure. The easiest way of killing them when on foot is by walking backwards and smacking them with the longest weapon you have, also called asking. Don't forget to loot them since they will have some very valuable schematics on them like saw blades, ceramic tools, weapons and also different armors and equipment. Of course the most important part is to loot in the boxes in the camp. So what do we even get from here? Before we go to the boxes, check on the towers where the rockers were for their ammo drops. The rockers will drop gas bombs and explosive darts when destroyed, so that's a nice way of getting some bigger ammo like gas bombs, rocker ammo, explosive darts and other stuff like that. Now that you collected all the loot on the ground, go to the boxes. You will have one box called Overseer's Chest from which the main loot is walker weapons and personal equipment like triple stitch armor and ceramic tools. To this one you have to crabble up next to the big tower and you have to smack it open and then loot it. The next one is a small urn right under the tower from where you can get insect bombs, tools, armor and clay walls. And the main loot is of course in the big totem and features furnaces, rockers, large chests, advanced woodworking station, windmill, maintenance chest, buffalo, ceramic gadget, hoof maze, a latte, I, don't, I still don't know how to pronounce that, swamp wood boots, small walker wings, medium walker legs, advanced windmill, large walker legs and large walker wings. So everything you need to build a buffalo, even including a rocker. Now I talked before about rockers and buffalo, so what is even a rocker? A rocker is like ship artillery, it's a giant gun that shoots a even bigger rock at anything that moves. It does around 500 damage with the standard ammo, so it's amazing to kill rockers with it. The Rupert Rockers have around 2500 HP and medium armor, so every single time that you shoot them it does 500 damage with a normal flint rock. If you got one of those assembled, you can snipe the rockers from a distance and now you only have to deal with the rupus on the ground. Rockers can also be created for killing the crab or PvP, so if you want a bigger walker and want to do some PvP maybe, having a rocker on it should be your top priority. Keep in mind that the meta changes all the time, so maybe tomorrow the rocker gets a massive nerf and is useless like many other weapons. Uh, looking at you, Ballista. Okay, that's it for today. Tomorrow there will be a PvP video including a rocker and a buffalo, so don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like the video and join the Discord for future events. Have a good one and bye bye!